Hey there, it's Pete C for Sample Live Review and today I'm checking out Kageyama Taiko's by Impact Soundworks. Impact Soundworks are continuing their world music series with the Kageyama Taiko's. As an avid user of the Ventus Wind series and libraries such as Koto Nation, Impact Soundworks have carved out a reputation for wonderful sampling of various world instruments. This continues with the versatile Kageyama Taikos, which can range from small and delicate to large and thunderous in a single NKI. Performed by world-renowned Taiko performer Isako Kageyama, these detailed, crystal-clear samples sound superb. Kageyama Taikos downloads at 5GB and has crystal-clear 24-bit samples with three mic positions. There are a range of articulations over six instrument groups with up to eight simultaneous effects. Kageyama Taikos requires the full version of Contact 6.6 or better and also supports NKS. Normally, Kageyama Taikos sells for $99. On this occasion, I'm only showing the contact window. Kageyama Taikos only has one NKI file, so once you load it up, the entire instrument is at your fingertips. Now, it uses a 3D GUI, so just before we hear any sounds, you can click on the instrument group and it will light up and you can see the corresponding keys light up along with it, which is a cool feature. So if we start with the Adaiko, And what we can see here is on the top right, it tells you the articulation you're playing. So that's the center. And then that's a cross stick. That's the edge. Muted. And that's a rim shot center. That's a stick shot. That's a rim shoulder. And the rim shot edge. So the main articulation is mapped over two keys. That's got that really nice playability going on. And you can hear everything sounds incredibly clean. If we move on to the next instrument, which is the Chudaiko. So we played a variety of articulations, but you can see working up, you've got the two centers, and then again, cross stick, edge, muted, rim shot center, rim shoulder, stick shot, rim shoulder again, rim shot edge, and then the rim tip. So depending on the drum, the articulations obviously sound completely different. So it's the edge of the Odaiko and there's a Chudaiko. So let's move on. Now I'm just going to click on the next instrument. So it's the Odaiko or Okidoko. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and these are split into two instruments. So you've got 1.5, 1.4. Okay, and then the 1.4. So everything is across 
mm. blue keys that are written up. And if when you play the white keys, these are more of your full hits. And then the black keys. So you have sticks muted and some rim shots. And then if we move up, so the next drum, um, the shimadaiko. So much higher in pitch. And then our last ones. So uh, uh, Atari Gani. There we go. So this is the low one. It's got a bit of a, almost like a cowbell or a go-go sound. And then you have the high version. Oops. No. <laughs> Here's the high version. And then uh, the high shigi, which is almost like sort of claves. Okay. So, first impressions out of the box. They sound really, really clear. Uh, which is great. So normally when you think Taiko, you think thunderous and massive cine uh, cinematic performances. And while obviously you can layer these and start to create them, they've got this amazing individuality. So if you're doing sort of smaller productions, this would work really, really well. So this is why Impact Soundworks do say these are versatile, and I totally agree. And they do use 10 round robins and 10 velocity layers. So you can get some great sounds out of these, but they just sound like the performer is right here with you. So you can get carried away. And obviously when you're programming these in, um, you can just create awesome rhythms and uh, amazing ensembles. Now, going through the GUI. Now, I, I do love this GUI. Um, it's so cool. Just picking out which instrument you want to play. And if you use a uh, complete control series keyboard, obviously it lights up in front of you as well. So it's such a cool feature. This small, uh, sorry, smooth EQ, it will tame some of the resonances that you may not want to hear. So this is why I feel this really is production ready. You just pop that on, don't have to do any EQing, and they sound absolutely perfect to go in. Another really cool feature, once you've highlighted your drum, if you want to tweak it, so you can change the volume, you can change the panning, you can pitch it up. So yeah, it's really low tycos. Sorry, the, the daiko. And, um, So once you've done that, if you change to another instrument group, you'll notice it only affects the instrument group you have chosen. Okay, so you can play around uh, of anything you need to. Give it a bit more of a hug. So just the attack. And yeah, just, you know, enjoy playing around with whatever you need to using these different controls. And then you have a filter. So I'd 
do my usual stick that on the mod wheel, uh, mod wheel. and just play around with those and then have uh, the velocity curve really important depending which uh, controller you're using and then the round robin mode so you can have it random um, you can have it cycle so everything's going to play as you program it the same way or you can just have it off so if you want that sort of machine gun effect you can do it exactly like that so it's a really quick um set of controls and again uh just really really straightforward to use so at the top there are 10 snapshots now i cannot show what the snapshots are um due to my review version um they just don't seem to load but if you come over here you can have the um i was going to change back to where we were you have you can map which instruments you want so you just select a key and then select a drum and you can put it wherever you want it so it's really useful for building your own ensembles so where are we um if I wanted that one there so yeah you can just build your own ensembles um, and you can also change the octave where you want it to be on so okay on d4 then i can move that to e4 and you just end up building your own ensemble so it's a really really intuitive way of just key mapping and only using the instruments you want to finally because it is all completely compact uh, if you go on the console you can see this is where your mics are so you have close which is the real detail sound so if i just turn these off bring these up so you get this really cool Um, sort of close sound. Now I have just mapped various keys, so that shouldn't be there. Um, and let's just go again. I'm just going to reload the instrument very, very quickly. Always a good idea. Just go back to default. There we go. And we're back in. Really quick loading time, by the way. Um, there we go. So if you go back to the console. Uh, close mics, then uh, second close mic, and then you've got overhead as well. So if you want just really nice ambient drums. You can use those drums. Now, on each different mic, you can put all of these different effects on. So really, really cool. So this just affects the close mic. So let's play that. And the snapshots that I was going to show you just use these effects. So there's 10 to get you started and then you can save them, uh, anything you create. So if you go into the Impact, web, uh, Impact Soundworks website, sorry, uh, all of this is explained and you can hear in the demos that these are used. But what I love doing is just creating my own. So you can add these to individual mics or you can put them on the master. So I'm just going to have a bit of fun. Um, let's, add, let's add some tape and all the controls are up here. Some tape on that one. And then this overhead, uh, let's add some delay. Cool. So go back to the UI. Uh, let's say I just want to make these nice and boomy. Can play around the cutoff. 
And so you've got a lovely sort of low percussion feel. But yeah, these sound absolutely brilliant. And that really is all there is to it. So effects on one page uh, and different mic positions, your six different instrument groups, controls for each group, and then the smooth EQ. And that's it. Um, it's a really cool compact instrument. So not only for world production music, but if you're composing um, like cine cinematic music, this really, really screams cinema. It's so clean and these sound incredible in the mix. I really urge you to go to the Impact Soundworks webpage and check out the demos. The demos are absolutely gorgeous because it fuses together um, like the Ventus woodwinds as well and various different world instruments. And it all just sounds gorgeous. <laughs> As a working composer for $99, this is an absolute bargain. It's not massive, huge Tycos, and that's all it can do. Yes, as I say, you can layer all of these and use the velocity, uh, the, the 10 velocity layers to create really big ensembles if you want to, but you have the option of going really, really small, really delicate, really intricate, and that is what I love about this instrument. So for me, if you're looking for some world percussion and uh, Tycos in particular and played by a world renowned percussionist this is a fantastic purchase. So my final thoughts about the Kagiyama Tycos by Impact Soundworks well for me it is a great purchase the reason being you have crystal clear perfectly sampled drums which can be layered into massive drums or smaller more intricate drums now this is something i've been looking for so i don't have uh smaller uh taiko ensembles and it's great to have this for cinematic scoring it'll be perfect for world production music um, even just for sort of gorgeous atmospheric drum solos it's perfect the GUI is intuitive, it's really easy to use, the controls are all there, it's ready to drop into a mix, and it just sounds brilliant. For $99, I do think this is an absolute bargain. All that leads me to say is thank you so much for checking out this first look of Kagiyama Taikos by Impact Soundworks. If you like what you heard, feel free to drop a like on the video and leave us a comment. If you've not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and then check out our other videos. Once you've done all that, pop over to samplibreview.com to check out everything that is going on in the world of virtual instruments. Until next time, have a great day and speak soon.